What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and welcome to another Minecraft map review. Today we're going to be reviewing Dream Island by Pixel Bister. Now if you're fans of the channel, you will know that Pixel Bister is one of my favorite game studios that builds Minecraft stuff. Um, quite frankly, the very first mod that I let's play that did really well on the channel was Advanced Dragons, one of their best. It's a really good one. I suggest you guys check that out if you haven't already up on the channel in our Let's Play section. But today we're going to be taking a look at Dream Island and it's basically their take on a vacation island. And to tell you the truth, I believe that this could exist out there somewhere. Pixel Bister always puts a good amount of detail into their maps. Um, they're always big, there's always plenty to explore, and true to form, they really nailed it with this one. I mean, just look at the detail in these buildings here. No two look alike. Even the ones that have similar designs are still made differently. Just differently enough that they are different buildings, different houses. I mean, that takes a lot of work. I know, I've built cities before, and if you don't want them looking the same, you have to painstakingly build each one individually and purposely make sure they're not looking exactly the same. To do that at this large of a scale is pretty nice. I mean, look at the, the road system. There's a very complex road and highway system going through the whole entire island, taking you to this place. There's a smaller village on the other side. There's an airport. There's a, a harbor. There's all kinds of things in this mod. And the detail is pretty fun to explore. Every single one of these buildings has a complete interior too. So you're not just looking at empty shells, you're looking at complete active buildings that look and feel lived in. Now, as beautiful as this map is, you can do more than just look at things. There's actual objectives for you to do and complete. The main thing they have you doing is going around the map and finding these little green monsters and collecting them. The more of them you collect, the more things get unlocked for you. All the different vehicles they've added for you to play in, you can unlock them while you collect these little green monsters. And there's even personal houses uh, and a villa for you to also unlock and customize as you pick up these green things. But don't worry if you can't find them. There's also mini games. Now each individual mini game has a different way of playing it. Uh, there's a race, there's a skateboard section. There's even a fighting section where you have to clear a castle that's completely full of zombies. If you complete these little mini games, you get a big chunk of those green monsters. So it helps you unlock more and more stuff quicker than just you going around the map. But it is pretty satisfying to be exploring some random building and you happen to find one of these green monsters. I think it's a good way that the map designers have got you to go out and explore the whole entire map because you're constantly looking for these little green guys and they've hit them not like extremely hard to find but they're all over the map so you're gonna want to check every nook and cranny because chances are even if you go off the beat it path you're going to find one of those green monsters thus adding to your little collection unlocking more vehicles and stuff for you to use so a very clever way to get you to actually explore all of the map and like i said the mini games are fun but if you don't want to have to worry about collecting anything, you can play the map with everything already unlocked and just explore for yourself at your leisure. I believe the mini games will still be there for you to play, but you don't have to play them to unlock anything. Everything will be unlocked so you can go play with all the vehicles, customize the house and the villa right off the back and not have to worry about finding anything. But I recommend playing collecting the little green monsters because it's one it's very satisfying to, to find them especially where some of them are hidden and you know it gives you a reason to explore the map i think that you will miss a lot of cool details 
if you don't have to go and search everything. Now, as you guys know, the sound and music in these type of maps is really important to me. If you don't get them right, it can ruin your map. Fortunately, they got it pretty good in this map. Now, there's no voice acting because there's no story. You're not sitting there questing with a character, so there's no need for any type of story. This is about exploring this map. So the sound effects for the vehicles and the background music is what they have to focus on. Now the vehicles and all the other things, sound effects, they're good. I like them all. I think the only one I didn't like was the one for the helicopter. I felt like it just didn't quite sound right. Felt, well, choppy. <laughs> I know it's a chopper, but I mean, it just didn't feel quite right. But all the other sound effects for the different vehicles are actually pretty good. What definitely got my attention though, is this background music. The background music in this is awesome. It's beautiful, very relaxing. You're gonna just wanna sit back, walk around the island and listen to the background music pretty much for hours because they definitely got it right, which is to par with Pixel Bister. I've always found that the music in their maps is always good and always fitting for whatever mood they're trying to go for in the map. So, it's time to answer the big question. Is it worth buying? Well, I gotta say yes. If you are a fan of the big city type maps where you just have a nice custom made city to explore or role play in, this is definitely one of the ones you're gonna wanna pick up. There's so much to do, so much to see. I can guarantee that you can get hours and hours worth of fun out of this just playing by yourself. Not to mention how much you can get out if you play with friends. Well, that's going to be it for today, guys. I tried a new format in this review. Did you guys like it? Why don't you let me know in the comment sections down below or look us up on Instagram or Twitter. Also, guys, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. You have no idea how much that helps the channel grow. And the more we grow, the more content we're going to be able to bring you guys. Also, hit that notification button if you want to be alerted every time we do a video. If you don't, I can't guarantee that YouTube is going to let you know I posted or not. So if you want to make sure you don't miss anything that we do, hit that notification button as well. But don't forget, guys, we will be live streaming every Saturday now at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to make sure you're there, keep that in mind. Also, let us know if there's any games you want to see us let's play, review, or live stream on the channel. We're always looking for more games to cover. So if you guys want something covered, make sure to let us know. But again, thank you for watching this video. If you watched to the end, you are awesome. Have a nice day. Avid Arcader out.